Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Laboratory for Organic Chemistry 2. And today we'll carry out experiment number seven, esterification reaction by using azoamyl alcohol and glacial acetic acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. So let's start the experiment. So for this reaction, we will need azoamyl alcohol, we'll need glacial acetic acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. And for material we need 100 ml round bottom flask. We need condenser to hoses for the entrance of water, and we need the heater. As you can see here, I have already prepared the system, the heater, round bottom flask, and the condenser. The condenser is con connected to water by the hose. This is connected to water. So as you can see here and the other hose to the sink directly fix it by the clamp and ring stand as you can see in the system so this is the system for the reaction so next step we add all the chemicals so we take 16 ml of isoamyl alcohol by using graduated cylinder okay. Okay, so I have here 16 ml of iso amyl alcohol. Then I will put it here in the round bottom flask. Then I will add 35 ml of glacial acetic acid by using also graduated cylinder. As I have graduated cylinder 25, so I will add 25 and 10. I have 25 and 10 ml. Then I will add few boiling stones, few pieces. And this boiling stones help the reaction, the activation reaction. Okay, four, five pieces. I will add four ml of concentrated sulfuric acid by using the small graduated cylinder. We have here four ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Then I will add on the reaction carefully. Okay. Then I have everything here, all the mixture. Then I will keep our my reaction uh, on the reflux during one between one and two hours. Okay, so then I will keep my reaction here on the reflux during between one and two hours. I will fix this one by the lift clamp. Okay, so everything now is working, hot plate. Then I will open the water. Okay, so the water now is working. And here in the sink, Okay, so fine, fantastic. Then I will keep my reaction during one, two hours. After, after finishing the reaction, I kept the, my reaction to cool down outside to room temperature in order to do the extraction. So next step, we will do the extraction by using uh, extraction funnel, as you can see. By using the separatory funnel. So uh, in order to do the extraction, I need to use uh, water. I will add like five, 50 ml of water. I will add here 25 and another 25. In total, 50 ml of water. I have here 50 ml of water. Okay, then I add the mixture. I put the mixture in the separatory funnel. I close the separatory funnel first. Then I add here the mixture. So the, the two faces are not very clear. You can see. 
more or less I think there are two faces there me I see here here exactly we have two faces the first face and second face okay then I will separate these two faces then I will wash the oily part by 50 ml containing sodium carbonate I will wash after separating the oil I will wash the oil by 10 ml uh, 50 ml of the solution 10% of uh, sodium carbonate okay so I separated the water phase I keep it here and the oil phase I keep it here it is still contain color this color uh, impurities coming from the reaction then I will wash the oil phase by 50 ml of 10% sodium carbonate I will add I will use graduate cylinder so 50 ml as I have the graduate cylinder 25 then I, I add two times 25 25 25 here okay. another 25 Okay, five. Then I will mix the mixture. Now start to change the color. Okay, the, I change the color. Now a little bit clearer than previously. Okay, then I add here the mixture. Then I will wait. I will wait a few seconds. I will wait a few seconds until the appearance of two faces. Now it starts to appear two phases. You can see. Clear phase is the oil, and down is the water. You see the in H4. Uh, the water so containing the sodium carbonate in a in a two co3 and the oil is a little bit clear now fine fantastic so we have here the oil clear now a little bit then I will separate the oil phase on the this phase then I will try to do the distillation so next step is to do distillation of this oil okay I will separate these two phases I will separate oil here in this flask no problem uh, I'm sorry oil not uh, water phase few drops okay fine finish okay and the oil I will uh, put it after dry after drying this one in this aluminium fantastic I have here a lot of quantity a lot of quantity and the next step as I have here a lot of quantity the next step I will dry this one by adding magnesium sulfate is very important because it still contains some drops of water coming from the extraction so after the extraction we should add magnesium sulfate I will add uh, a few amount of magnesium sulfate to dry this uh, oil so I have here magnesium sulfate in GSO4 to dry then we'll add a few amount here, like this, more or less. If we want to add more, we can add more, no problem. Few amount more, more than enough, then you mix like this. Okay. 
after that with the filtration okay with the filtration then the obtained filtrate with the distillation okay fantastic then i will do the filtration okay so instead of filtration we can do just decantation just decantation is enough so decant our uh, liquid our oil in the um, round bottom flask then with the distillation okay so here the out the window decantation excellent so we have our oil here the next step we do distillation i will show you in another experiment the distillation fantastic okay so here we have the distillation system as you can see okay i will start from here we have the the heater run bottom flask okay still heat thermometer to control temperature the condenser the condenser is fixed by the clamp and the system here the flask is fixed by another clamp okay and here we have distillation adapter as you can see then the earlier to collect our liquid then graduated cylinder to measure the quantity of liquid obtained in the end and you can see the condenser is connected to water here in order to cool the system okay then the water here okay so i will show you the the wall system in order to understand the distillation system so this is the distillation system I think you know and you have an idea because we did the experiment of distillation in the organic one the last semester and this is distillation system so now we start I will transfer the liquid that uh, I prepared during the reaction to the distillation system as you can see the distillation start then I have here drops of liquid you can see so distillation now is started. I am collecting now my liquid. Okay, now distillation is working, perfect. Okay, in a few minutes, I will finish. So, the, as you can see, liquid is completely transparent. And this liquid is oil. The oil. Okay, perfect. So, distillation now is working, drop by drop. Here. We have the heater, then generating here the vapor. The vapor, once arrived to the cooling system, will find the system called system here by water. Then the vapor will condense as drops of liquid, then will pass through the distillation adapter. Then we get drop by drop our liquid. So fantastic distillation now is working so excellent so this is the temperature of distillation is constant during the distillation of the product is 130 degree is constant during distillation okay so we wait a few minutes until the distillation finish then i will start i will stop the distillation in the end, I will measure the volume of the obtained liquid. I hope 
it is very clear the experiment I have collected here liquid transparent pure product pure ester then I will measure this volume to now the exact volume of uh, the final product okay so I have here the final product is transparent pure then I will try to measure the exact volume of the product by using graduated cylinder I will transfer the liquid here to see how many milliliter I have okay so you can see here we have 50 milliliter of the final product you have 20 30 40 and 50 ml of final product excellent job excellent work so here we arrive to the end of the experiment and see you in the next experiment